So, so, in, so in short, the, the theory is that we don't think by analysis, we think by association. And that thinking by association, even though we think we think by analysis, actually is what drives this behaviour. We drive most behaviour. Most human, most human life consists of uh, individuals responding to a context of other individuals who were there in the first place. You know, and that's how our lives are. And it's a bit like, there's a great Franz Duval who's a, a chimp spotter. He's just a fantastic expert on chimps. His latest book puts it this way. He says, when we think, criticise squirrels for not being very intelligent, it's just our version of intelligence is not very useful to being a squirrel. Well, so we, we imagine, we judge ourselves as if we were these, these creatures, these individual creatures making decisions on our own in an analytic way, and we trust, we, you know, we despair at our irrationality. Whereas the fact is that most of our decisions are made perfectly well by using the brains of other people. I'll have what she's having is a really good heuristic, a shorthand for making most decisions in your life. Right. However, when challenged on it, you do think that the individuality comes out and you say, no, no, I'm actually you're totally autonomous and I make these decisions without that influence. Is that yeah. the case? No, no, I think that's right. And is that why so many people have been written about as the consumer, the individual? That I think so many people have been written about in our culture. Ah. So our culture, the North European in particular, the culture has a very strong very strong element of the individual, the heroic and so on. So we love great heroic individual artists or heroic scientists who make the breakthrough on their own. Whereas, you know, Newton famously said, you know, if I've seen further, it's because I've stood on the shoulders of giants. Right. Every, it's a team game. And the Hollywood model is exactly that though, isn't it? It's the hero, it's one hero. I mean, the hero's journey, Joseph. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. All, all that stuff. All that stuff is part of our culture. It's not the same in other cultures. Right, that's interesting. Yeah, so I mean, that's what I, I first really appreciated this by working with people from Latin America um, and from Africa and Asia. And I realised, and they're very smart and better educated than I am, and I, very, I realised the conversations we were having about how people behave, they're being very polite, uh, but they've had fundamentally, at a cultural level, had a very different conception of what it is to be human. Right. Um, can you define the difference? So the difference is, on the one hand, you have something like, for example, in Africa, the notion of Ubuntu, mm. which is us together, or, or, or a mutuality. So my happiness depends on your happiness, for example. Um, and the way to solve the problems in South Africa, and the transition from apartheid to post-apartheid, was to get people to accept that they were connected to each other and their happiness depended on each other. So that was a Tutu and Mandela programme, was all about that. In our culture, the extreme of it is Ayn Rand. It says there are certain unique, special individuals who are just so important, the wealth creators we might call them, the triumphant heroes, and it's just such nonsense because none of us stands on our own. The history of human culture even if, you, even if you ignore Africa, Asia and Latin America, even you ignore all of that, is individuals taking things that other people have done and making something with them. All of us stand on an incredibly long line of stuff that, you know, how do, how do we know to make, to do the coffee stuff that we do? You and I have been drinking coffee this morning, talking about bad coffee, and this is rather fine. Um, the, um, how do we know how to make it? How do we know how to get the get to dig the gas out of the ground and to transport it. We don't. We rely on someone else to do it. We rely on someone else who have perfected that technology. But, but we've glorified the individual. Oh, totally. It's a sort of libertarian's wet dream, you know, that, that I've done all this on my own. And this is very Anne Randian. Uh, no, totally. It? Yeah. I've done it all on my own. Just like when someone says, this is a great piece of, there's a great piece of work that I did. You go, well, it's a great piece of work that's based on the work of millions of other people.